Okay, another video today. Um, we are going to be looking at some of the aftermath of big tech um, losing, um, well, actually, not big tech losing, but big tech um, giving layoffs. It's interesting that a lot of these individuals that were pushing this were, well, pushing the wokeness um, were part of the big tech industry and I, I you know it's just surprising no not really it's not surprising to the rest of you know Americans who are normal or just people around the world who are normal when you alienate half the people that you're supposed to be um, um, that you hope to get their business from when you are chastising them because of their political views and forcing things upon them in which hey you know they're going to they're going to vote with their dollars. If you know the politicians can't do anything about it, they're going to vote with their dollars. And when that means not paying you, not giving you your your business, that has ramifications. So um, when a company is losing revenue, well, guess what happens to the employees? You know, you get fired. So stop pushing shit onto the public who didn't want or ask for your opinion on these matters. That's not your, you know, your place. And as such, these things happen. So without further ado, let's get into this whole story. Unfortunately, 12,000 people got laid off at Google yesterday. So if you didn't know that I worked at Google, I may have been there for almost four years. I'm a technical recruiter, or I guess I should say I was a technical recruiter. I was part of the Google layoff on Friday. I was working there for over nine years. I'm also six months pregnant. This is decaf. <laughs> this is not how I thought my career at Google would come to an end. You know what? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. I was just laid off today um, sure. by the Big Daddy G, that engineering software tool that everybody uses with two zeros in the middle of those Gs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All I gotta say. L-E, you know. These Google mm -hmm. layoffs were quite significant. To set the table for this, this was Google's strategy, is to make it so good to work there that you would never think of leaving or it'd be very difficult to leave. Yeah. Google created the culture of mm -hmm. entitlement in Silicon yeah. Valley. They said, let's make a campus. Let's provide Neiman Ranch steaks. Let's put a uh, infinite swimming pool in and volleyball. You don't even have to grow up. You can be Peter Pan here, give you dinner, go all in, and don't worry about doing any other work. It was cynical, right, to get you to work more. And it was also a result of them having a money printing machine. They yes. never had to think about costs because, my Lord, so many people were using Google and so many people were clicking on ads that the spend for that business was largely irrelevant. For them to then cut people off was shocking to those people. But for the rest of the world, or even the rest of tech, a lot of people are watching this and going like, are these people for real? All right, guys, so we got to talk about money and a lesson in capitalism and finance and the economy, right? Which is that in this world, um, the good times don't last forever, okay? And tech over the last probably 15 to 20 or so years has had some great times, okay? So great that a lot of these really tech like companies felt the, the need background. to go woke, right? They said, we're making so much money that we can simply alienate half the country uh, with our political ideology that we're pushing on society. They made a whole lot of money off of fake valuations that are based off an economy that could not uh, sustain itself in regards to free money, okay? Being available for these companies to borrow and to basically uh, bloat themselves endlessly, okay? It was an endless cycle of easy money coming from the federal government right in the yeah. form of low interest rates uh being borrowed by these big tech companies then using this money to grow and to create artificial demand for uh their products and services they would take this money to buy uh tech startups from their friends okay uh at bloated valuations that don't really make sense these companies and a lot of them is the reason why is because and like being a software developer I'm not, i know this a lot of us were just wanting to get 
a product out there so that Google or Facebook could buy from us. Why? Because just to get into the market with your own product startup, you it, it was damn near impossible. They would do anything to block your your product from becoming a success. They were literally creating monopolies and our government was helping them. And so most people after a while, you know, what's the point of even trying to make a tech company when Google is just going to blackball you, buy your shit, just to store your invention on some shelf later on. But, you know, in the end, they're trying to make themselves into this big ass conglomerate company and not giving, you know, the little companies a chance. But hey, everyone, you know, who who's out there who hates corporations, I think it's funny. They always blame the rich tax, the rich tax, the rich. But it's like, look, you are enabling this behavior in which companies grow to the point where they do, they are a monopolies. You enabled this because of your dumbass illogical thinking and honestly greed jealousy these don't really make money um and then well what happens when the money actually is not Runs cheap up. anymore right when interest rates start to rise due to inflation and overstimulated demand which causes a the demand to fall well what happens well the money printing stops right the money printing stops it gets significantly more expensive to borrow money which means economic activity slows down yep. across the country the globe really i mean that's what's happening right now um and this is a case of you get what you vote for because a overwhelming majority of and this is why math is important you know calculus derivatives and all that other great stuff this time is a factor that so many people actually don't think about time is a factor everything that goes around it will come back around uh, eventually but um y'all didn't see this coming you should have gave it a little time if you didn't think printing money would somehow exasperate the current conditions of our economy well <laughs> you're figuring it out now these tech employees um, who are now being laid off, okay, we're facing the tech apocalypse here, are woke, right? They're overwhelmingly liberal. They donate to Democrats. And the reason why uh, we have these big tech layoffs and this economy is facing a major recession, if not a depression, um, is because of the reckless spending of the Biden administration that has caused inflation, forcing us to raise interest rates at a historical pace. And again, the woke tech workers that, you know, contributed to the Democrat Party, that support Democrats, that support wokeness, right? They're now melting down because they've lost their jobs. In fact, take a look at this before and after of one tech worker that worked at Google, right? Her life before she got laid off and her life after she got laid off. A day in my life working from the Google LA office. I always grab some candy from the reception before heading in. This used to be an old aircraft hangar. So the decorations hanging from the ceiling kind of looked like an aircraft flying in. Before it was a Google office, this aircraft hangar belonged to Howard Hughes, so there's tons of memorabilia. Next, I'm going to pass by these art installations. They're a really good photo op, or you can sit in there and get some work done. I'm going to head to the coffee shop to grab some coffee and a fruit cup since I missed breakfast. And then I'm heading over to this butterfly-themed room to take my first meeting. Then I'm going to head over to the confetti room to take my next meeting. It's so sparkly and beautiful in here. I love that a lot of our rooms are themed. Then I'm going to grab my two favorite drinks, which is this green tea and coconut water. Next, I'm going to go upstairs and grab... I'm going to tell you right now. Government places, they all look like that. <laughs> some lunch they always have pizza and a variety of different vegetables and meat the food is always really good but here's the crazy thing they think that they'll get that at government jobs <laughs> okay and of course everything you see in the office is free on my way out of the cafe i ran into a doogler which is a dog googler and ran into some ghosts when they were renovating the office there were a lot of spooky stories from the crew so there's a whole area in the office where you can listen to them then i got more work done and headed over to the massage chairs to wrap up my day let me know what you want to see next a day in my life getting laid off at google so i woke up to this really ominous text from my boss and i honestly had no idea what it was going to be about so i called her the minute i woke up and saw this and she told me to check the news and my email so i rushed downstairs to find out that i had lost access to basically everything i couldn't log into my email or even check my calendar i called my boss 
back and we just sobbed over the phone because she was also finding out about my layoff for the first time today too. I started getting calls from a bunch of my coworkers and started finding out who else was let go on my team and some neighboring teams as well. But I think the worst part is that it seems like no one was consulted on this decision and everyone was just finding out about the layoffs at the same you time. You guys it just are felt part like a of the problem. You guys did this. The censoring everything. It's like, did you not think this was going to come back on you? Like, when you make bad decisions, when you vote for bad things, there will be repercussions. It might not be immediate, but trust me, those mother... They're coming. They're coming. So hopefully this is a this is a message to all those who are young who think that when you're electing people in office because they say they're going to give you free shit and then it turns out they actually run your economy into the ground, guess what? You're going to get laid off. Stop voting for people who promise you shit and then never deliver. Because then we're going to be back here. And it's like, we've been here before. We've been here before, okay? So... When people don't, when people forget, when people for some reason think that the government is the answer and giving you free money, it didn't work for the Soviets, it didn't work for Cuba, and now it's not working now, okay? Your socialism experiment has failed and now people are getting fired. So wake up, okay? Money is what go make the world goes around and it's better for you to actually have some in your pocket than to be broke or relying on someone else to give it for you because now, look, you're out of job should have been happy where you were and just let people you know be people let them choose when you take away choice people in america unlike all these other places we will vote with our dollars if our voices are not heard so fuck you big tech this is what happens and you know if i don't know what to say there's there's going to be other jobs out there and if you know, if I happen to get laid off, guess what? You'll just have to do what everyone else do too. I'll have to do what everyone else is doing too. Stop crying. You'll have to do it as well. Just get off your ass and fucking find another job. You tech, and this is the thing, you know, it's been really like a, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really difficult for me in this whole tech environment because I've seen a lot of this stuff being pushed, being woke, this woke agenda being pushed, coming from the tech industry and I'm in the tech industry. The reason why I turned to the tech industry because I was picked on by the same people who are pushing their bullshit to try to put people in certain boxes and I am ashamed. I'm ashamed to work for an industry that treats people like this even even though the reason why so many of us get into this industry is because we were always bullied. We didn't want anyone telling us what to do. We found hope in tech. Whether that be through artificial intelligence, making our own programs to talk to us, find our own happiness in that and now to deny others and how they feel and um, not even how they feel and just how to think how to how they should think how you know um, having it's just being able for them to express themselves in society today I think it's wrong and to have my industry be a part of it is just something I'm just really ashamed about um, tech is a way to express yourself so is art. It's just another form of art. And for us to deny others to express themselves is just sickening to me. It deserves everything it gets. Really bad game of Russian roulette and there was no consistency around who was let go. It was also not performance based, so it just felt really random. I opened up LinkedIn, which honestly was not great for my mental health. There were so many people who were in the same boat that were both equally as shocked and blindsided, but it did help me feel a little less alone. Honestly, I spent so much of the day crying that I just felt so tired from being sad and wanted to do something that would just make me feel better. Luckily, I have an annual pass, so I headed over to Disneyland because I wanted to go eat my feelings. So I started off with a cinnamon galaxy churro and then went to the teriyaki turkey leg. This is a special limited edition item for the Lunar New Year celebration at Disney California Adventure. I had some rice crispy, a corn dog, did some drawing, and even had another churro. I don't really know what's next for me, but I'll be vlogging my journey and posting more content about it, so feel free to follow along. Yeah, so again, sad story. Uh, I'm not celebrating this. Obviously, it is terrible when anybody loses their job, they get laid off. Um, Very much so. You know, it, it's, it sucks, okay? I mean, but the point of this video is to explain to you guys uh, why this is happening. And it is not the conspiracies that are being perpetuated on the internet about <laughs> why this is happening. Take a look. This is a brilliant point, and you are so completely correct. But I just did a ton of digging, and I think it goes so much deeper than that. This is Chris Hahn, and he is a hedge fund billionaire. He wrote a letter to Google, to their parent company Alphabet, telling them to reduce their headcount and to start categorizing people as low performers. That's what the name of his hedge fund is. 
It's called the Children's Investment Fund. And it feels like it should be illegal for this guy to have an investment fund, a hedge fund named this. It's currently worth $7.9 billion. Three years ago, he was worth $5 billion. And three years ago, he was worth 3.9. So in three years, three years, he has gone from $3.9 billion to 7.8. He has doubled his money in three <coughs> years during the pandemic. You know what makes my blood boil about it? Google still made $14 billion in profit last quarter. It down from where it was a year ago. Yes. Is that still a ridiculous amount of profit? Yes. 10,000 people who live in the Bay Area who probably live in the most expensive place in America with mortgages, families, whatever. Who made it that expensive? People like you voting for these dumb idiots that drive up the cost of living. They make it so hostile to do businesses and to just even start a business in places like California. You guys voted for that. And now you're upset when you get fired and you can't afford it. And now all these families are gonna get laid off because of this. You did it. You fell and bought into everything these elitists did instead of just, you know, hey, Lay, like, not even towing the line, just going to work, doing your business, saving your money on the side, and just prepare when you have rainy days. If something comes along, move on. Um, but don't don't dwell on, oh shit, I got fired from this job, now I got this vendetta against this group because they made all this money. Why do you care about what they have? You should be worried about yourself. You should be worried about your own um, um, finances. So it's like these types of people, I like I don't, I, I would never want to wish anything upon someone to lose their jobs, right? But when you are the maker of your own doom, how, how do you expect me to have, you know, more sympathy on you other than what I already have? You, you, a lot of this stuff was bought on by you guys. You voted Never for this. Are going to lose their jobs because a hedge fund billionaire worth $8 billion who's doubled his money in the last three years thinks he's just not going to make as much money as fast. And so he bullied a company making a shit ton of profit already <coughs> into firing 10,000 people. So you're going to blame all That's that? Insane. You're going to blame that all on one person? Nah, bruh. Shit happened in society. The winds changed against you. Understand why those winds changed against you and understand how that changing of wind affected the revenue. Maybe that's the reason why your people are getting fired. Dang. Yeah, maybe almost that, there, but not Maybe that's the reason why this guy, this manager had to make this decision. Right, right. The reason why he doubled his money in the last um, couple years is the same reason why uh, these tech companies are now laying off workers. It's because, again, the federal government had interest rates at an all-time low, okay, while also spending an exorbitant, a record amount of money. They poured trillions of dollars into this economy, uh, making these companies believe that, hey, we got all this money. <coughs> we don't have to be careful how we spend it. Uh, we can just spend it on whatever. We can hire a bunch of people that we really don't need. We can invest in wokeness, diversity, yep. and inclusion. All this stuff all that does not affected. have a positive return on investment yep. um, until the money's not cheap mm -hmm. anymore, yep. right? Until you just can't borrow money without any real cost <clears throat> and there was a lot of things that contributed to this i promise you it wasn't just one person up at the top making these decisions what happened was is that now they realize that the economy is slowing down because money's not cheap anymore so now you have their customers not willing to pay as much anymore for example companies aren't willing to pay google as much in ads anymore and how do i know this well i know this because that's how i get paid right on youtube okay so yeah i, I know right the the economy's not doing well okay uh because companies are not spending money like they used to spend anymore because money's not cheap well again why is money not cheap well money's not cheap because the democrats decided to overspend right they overspent and then they waited to the last minute, the feds waited to the last minute to raise interest rates to uh, account for this spending and what it would do for inflation. Again, turns out that stimulus checks and, you know, expanded unemployment, right, paying people not to work, right, shutting down an economy, okay, uh, working from home. It, it, it turns out all that stuff was not good in the long run, okay? Turns out it wasn't good in the long run. 
And these same people that advocated for this stuff, that voted mm-hmm. for this stuff, uh, they're the ones that are now being affected yep. <laughs> by it. Okay, I mean, I don't know why. I don't know how we have to say this. Socialism makes everybody poor. Okay, it does. Printing out money for people to stay at home makes everybody poor. Now, tons of you guys are losing your jobs. Seventy thousand employees in the last year. You voted for this shit, bruh. You voted for all those homeless people to have all that money and while they're while they can still shoot up their drugs. You guys did that, and now, no. Well, those same people that voted for it, you know, for for those types of individuals who go be in our politics to make this happen, those politicians then in turn overspent too much, causing inflation to go through the roof. You know, all this <laughs> the good times we're gonna to have to cease at a cease. And I don't feel sorry for them. <clears throat> Good luck on your journey. You'll find another job. Get over it. At least, you know, the uh, pipeline workers, right, the Keystone Pipeline workers, they seem to take their layoffs uh, from Joe Biden uh, a oh, lot what? better than these people, oh, right? Yeah. But it's not just Google. There have been over 70,000 employees that have been laid off from the big tech companies. As again, we have a big tech apocalypse here. Alphabet, 12,000 jobs cut. Microsoft, 10,000 jobs cut. Amazon, 18,000 jobs cut. Crypto.com, 500 uh, jobs cut. Coinbase, 2,000 jobs cut. Salesforce, 7,000 jobs cut. Again, a lot of these companies actually don't really make money, right? They don't really make money. (laughs) Meta, 11,000 jobs cut. Twitter, 3,700 jobs cut. But see, Elon was smart. You know how the mainstream liberal media was getting on Elon Musk for uh, cutting half of Twitter's workforce because he knew that the company was bloated? Right. Especially considering how we're going into an environment where interest rates are rising as a tech company that doesn't make any money, uh, who literally survives from borrowing money uh, endlessly from the government. Um, (laughs) Elon Musk knew that, hey, you know, we're going to have to cut jobs. Right. We actually have to run this company like a real company. (laughs) Right. Um, And the mainstream liberal media obliterated him for it. These same people, the mainstream liberal media that were crying because Twitter laid off half of their workforce under Elon Musk are silent on this, right? They're not criticizing Google and Apple and Facebook and all these other companies who are essentially doing the same thing that Elon Musk did, except they're doing it later, right? They're, they're, they're not doing it as fast as Elon Musk was doing it. Amazing how that works. Um, again, we are headed towards a major, major, major recession. We're already in a recession, okay? Don't let anybody fool you. But we're heading to a major recession that the mainstream liberal media will not be able to deny. We may even go into a depression. Okay, Almost certainly we're going to have uh, some type of crash in the market. Uh, things about to come tumbling down hard under the Biden economy. And again, the people that have been affected here, big tech that is getting hit the hardest, Okay, uh, they all voted for it. But hey, no more orange man. Right? No more orange man. Uh, the, the, the grown-ups in charge, wokeness is here, right? Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Turns out that, again, all that stuff has a cost, okay? Free money ain't actually free, nope. right? It's really not actually free. Uh, people got to learn this the hard way, and it sucks that the rest of uh, the people in this country have to suffer uh, because of these uh, idiots voting for Democrats, right? Dumb voting fucks. for reckless spending. And these types of policies that... Voted for literally jackasses. Like, seriously. Jackasses. If that's not, if that's not the most accurate icon for that party, I don't know what it is. Whoever came up with it, genius. But thanks for watching.